So today I got a video for you. It's from Yvane Chan, and she's a member of What the Fig Facebook group. She saw my video on how to prune fig trees, and uh, she took a look around her yard, and she has a bunch of really tall figs. So she decided to take the plunge and cut their figs down to about 30 inches. She has a bunch of fig trees and a bunch of her trees are really tall. So she decided after watching my video and then getting some encouragement from some other folks on the What the Fig group to cut her trees down to a more manageable size. I think she said she's going to go about 30 inches. So what that's going to do is provide a lower center of gravity for her trees and she's going to get a lot more branching and get that fruit production I talked about in my uh, training your fig tree video. So what she has now is really tall trees and they have kind of that pom-pom shape. They're just harder to manage. So you have a lot of wasted space, uh, two or three feet, well, three or, three or four feet of nothing happening and then some branching up top. So take a look at this video. It's um, if you haven't cut your trees down or if you haven't done that end of season where you have a big eight foot tall tree like I did last season and you chop it down to 30 inches. Um, you can tell by watching this video, it kind of hurts. So she's going to 30 inches. I mentioned in my video that I cut to 30 at the, um, that I cut to 30 and then right before bud break in the spring, cut them down to 24. So that's where I'm going. Uh, you can go 30 as well. It's a little taller than I would, but that's perfectly fine as well. Some folks like to go from 24 inches. They like to take it even to 18 inches or they, they cut it to uh, 24 inches. They get the scaffolding they want on their second year and then they have a little bit extra at the top and then they cut that. So a lot of things you can do. So watch this video and uh, subscribe and follow along and we'll all grow some great trees together. This, uh, these trees, these two trees, which is the Emmeline Purple and the Saint Rita is about to get a hard pruning. So I was told to prune this years ago um, when I first got the tree in 2020 to about 30 inches, cut it to 30 inches so that I'll have a nice stump. And I guess I couldn't do it because, you know, it, it was, I just didn't want to and I was scared and, um, but now it's time. I think I need to do it. I'm going to do it and see what happens and hopefully it'll turn out nice and that I'll get, you know, more fruits from the trees. Um, but as you could see, they're pretty tall and I'm cutting it down to 30 inches, which is about where this black line is. So right there. So I put the ribbon there to show where the, it's marked to be cut. So I'm going to lop it off. I'm going to have obviously a lot of extra cuttings available, but you know, I'm, I'm nervous about it only because it's almost spring and if I lop it off, the likelihood of me getting these fruits, I mean, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I'll get branches coming out from the bottom to get fruits, but I know I'm gonna miss out on the fruits that would have grown on the top, but it has to be done and I'm just gonna do a few of them, um, but make comments on the video and let me know if I'm doing this right or wrong. At least, you know, it's only on a few of my trees, but anyway, here goes. It hurts. Okay, I'm gonna have my husband cut it. <laughs> oh. Okay, so here's the trees now at 30 inches. Um, and there, I have a lot more to do because as you can see back there, there's tons of trees. 
There's more over here that are really tall. And some more back over here. And well, there's a whole bunch of other areas where I have a lot more that I'm gonna have to work on. Um, so I'll have cuttings available probably for sale on FigBid and some giveaways. So let's hope I'm doing this right and that it'll turn out great by next year.